All right, guys, so let's jump right into this. These are super easy, super affordable DIY Pokemon costumes that I made for my kids. Um, there's a list of all the supplies that you need. I'm going to start off with Pikachu. Um, this is a yellow piece of foam. It's a 12 by 18. I got it from my local Michael store. You can get it at any craft store. I, it was like $1.50, um, I believe. Um, so this is me just coloring in his tail. Um, well, tracing out his tail i should say um i do have the picture of the tail next to me because i was trying to get it to look as realistic as possible this is for my 10 year old and he's a little picky so i wanted it to be as perfect as i could possibly get it um so after i did the tail i did go ahead and color the at the bottom of the tail where pikachu um tail is brown so that i would be able to know where to color that at and then i went ahead and made the ears this is me measuring them to make sure they're the same size and then after i made the ears i did draw out where they're going to be black at the top again because i want it to be as realistic as possible um, and again, this is a 12 by 18 piece of foam. So I was able to do both pieces that I needed on the same piece, which was great because I didn't want to have to buy multiple pieces. So, um, this is me just cutting out the, um, the tail here. Um, it's super easy to cut out. It's actually pretty flimsy. Um, so I did end up reinforcing the tail after I got done cutting it out, which you'll see me in a few. Um, and that was because I did glue the tail to the back of, um, my son's shirt. So I bought him a yellow pajama set from primary dot it's a clothing company that sells um primary colored clothes for kids they have pajamas shirts and all that good jazz so i bought him yellow and since i was gluing the tail to the back of that i wanted the tail to have some sort of some um, structure to it so that it wouldn't just be flopping all over the place as he was running around um, but either way this is me coloring the ends of the ears like i said i had already drew that out so i would know where to color them at so i'm coloring the ears black just like pikachu um i do color the sides of the foam on the ears not required at all but again because i'm making this for my 10 year old and he is super picky i want it to be as realistic as possible so that he would like it spoiler alert he does not like it but that's okay um so this is me just coloring those ears in and then after that i do the same thing with the tail i am using just regular old craft markers um i got them from michael's as well they were on clearance i'm pretty positive that you could use any markers that you have around your house, um, if you have Sharpies, if you have regular Crayola markers, I'm more than positive all of that would work. I just bought those markers because I didn't have any at home and these were on clearance. So um, yeah, this is me coloring um, the tail. Again, Pikachu's tail at the bottom is brown, so I'm just trying to get it as realistic as possible and coloring the sides so that when it was glued to his shirt, you wouldn't see the yellow um, like from a distance or anything like that. Um, now this is me using popsicle sticks to reinforce the tail to give kind of a little bit more structure and make it a little bit more firm you could use craft wire as well um but when i was at michael's i couldn't find the kind that i wanted so i figured popsicle sticks is better than nothing so i literally just put them down the middle of the tail and then i used a hot glue gun to glue them down in the middle kind of had to go off screen for the for the hot glue gun part but you can see that i glued it all the way down the middle and even on the ending piece there and then i took um, a piece of extra foam that i had and i glued that on top so you would not see the popsicle stick um from the back when i glued it onto his shirt um so that was just kind of just you know so people wouldn't know that there was popsicle sticks and they're like oh what's this so that's me gluing that on there like that and then once I got done with that, I was basically done with Pikachu. I did glue the ears to a headband. You don't see that in this video, um, but I did glue his ears to a headband and he was pretty much ready to go after that. Now I'm making Charmander's tail. Um, this is for my three-year-old. So I just pulled up his, his a picture of Charmander on Google and then just cut out his tail. And then that was with the orange foam. And now I have some red foam piece, the same size as the, 18, the 12 by 18. And I'm just cutting out um, a flame here like a larger flame it's about the size of my hand and then I'm going to take a darker yellow than the yellow that I use for Pikachu you could use orange you could use yellow you could use any color you want um, I just wanted to make sure that there was a contrast so um, after I cut out the red flame I did take the darker yellow and draw a smaller version of the exact same flame and then I glued those two on top of each other so you'll see me doing that here in a second so now that I'm done with the red I took um, the red and put it on top of the yellow to make sure that the yellow was going to be smaller and now i am cutting out the um, yellow flame 
from the foam piece and again this is the 12 by 18 you just want to make sure you get that bigger piece of the foam so that you have enough piece you have a big enough piece to make multiple things um so now i glued it and then here i am reinforcing the tail the same thing that i did with pikachu's tail i'm gonna take those popsicle sticks i put them straight down the middle now um because charmander's tail seemed to be a little bit more flimsy than pikachu's chair tail i ended up doing two rows of popsicle sticks i don't know why i don't know if it was because the i glued the flame at the end and it needed just a little bit extra support i'm not sure but i did end up gluing two rows of popsicle sticks on the tail because um, you can see right there where i was i picked it up and i was like hmm, it's still a little flimsy i started off by adding a popsicle stick to the flame i still didn't like the way that it felt so here i am adding two uh, like i said another row of popsicle sticks just to make sure that it was as as um as sturdy as possible and again i'm just going to take this and i bought my three-year-old a orange um pajama set from primary dot i'm gonna link all of their pajama sets in the description box but i did buy him an orange um, pajama set and so i just glued the tail to the back of his pajama set once i was done with everything oh i forgot to mention i did take the um foam piece and the same thing that i did with the pikachu tail i cut out an orange piece and put it along so that you would not see the um, popsicle sticks and i did the same thing for with the red at the top so that you would not see the popsicle sticks and then like i said i just glued it to the back of of his orange um pajama outfit and then he was good to go charmander was done um and it was super easy and like i said super quick um so yeah here i am gluing um the red on and this is why i said to get the larger foam pieces so that you have enough foam left over to be able to do these types of things and now i am making togepi this was probably my favorite costume um to make it was for my baby um so i have the white piece of foam here and again this is the 18 by 12 i and i cut it in half and then i went ahead and traced out the front half of his egg and once i got that traced out um i went ahead and cut i was trying to i was going to try and cut both pieces at the same time but this foam it was actually a little bit thicker than the other pieces of foam i'm not sure why um you don't have to specifically get a thicker piece of foam this foam just happened to be i think it was just all that they had in white at michael's at the time um so i ended up cutting out cutting each piece individually so after i got done with one you see me here um putting it up against the second piece and then cutting it out so that they match and they're um exactly the same for togepi's egg part of his um costume so once i get done cutting out um each individual little raggedy ragged piece at the top there um i do have some red and blue um foam that i'm going to start cutting um the pieces of togepi out you know the red and blue triangles and diamonds that he has on the front of, on the front of them so you'll see me doing that here so i'm just tracing them i had to use a pen for the foam um versus a pencil because you couldn't i couldn't see it when i was using the pencil so i went and grabbed the pen and um i'm just tracing those out and then once i get done with those i'll go ahead and start cutting them out i believe that i made four or five diamonds or triangles per foam piece i mean per um felt piece and these are just the 69 cent pieces of felt that you can get at walmart michaels joann's anywhere nothing special about these um so all in all i'm gonna say the togepi um costume probably cost me i want to say five dollars to make um which was great so yeah this is me cutting out the foam the felt pieces to be able to glue them on the egg portion of togepi here um, that's my daughter in the background playing with balloons, you know, because mom life, right? Um, I, has, I also have my friend helping me. So that's who you see putting down the blue pieces of felt while I'm cutting out the red pieces of felt. Um, and then once I get done, like I said, cutting out everything, um, I went ahead and glued. So you'll see me, I'm going to lay down the egg portions of the costume and then kind of map out where I want each piece to go. And then from there, I'm going to start hot gluing them. And I just use a regular hot glue gun and regular hot glue sticks. I know that they have different kinds of hot glue sticks, like wood ones and fabric ones. And I didn't do all of that. I just bought the hot glue sticks that I could find from Michaels. Um, I believe they were like $2.99 for 20 of them. And so that's what I was using. Um, but yes, here I am just gluing those felt down to the foam. Um, and it worked really easily, super quick, didn't come off or anything like that. So that's the first piece. And now I'm working on the second piece. I realized that I didn't have enough of the red ones cut out. So I cut out a few more of those just to kind of make it look a little bit more even. Um, once I'm done gluing on the felt pieces, I do have a white 
white piece of felt right there that I cut into a strip that I am going to use to kind of um, connect the two foam pieces together. You see me doing that there, just kind of measuring it and making sure. And then um, I'm gluing them together here. And this is just so that it's, you know, going to stay together while it's on my baby. So here I am just trying it on, making sure it fits him okay. And then I'm going to take, I have some elastic here and I'm going to take that to see how much of it I need to basically make sleeves for him so that we can kind of just slip him in and out of it like that. So that's me measuring it. From there, I take the elastic and I glue it onto the individual pieces. And then I have a yellow piece of foam that I use to cut out the um, head portion of Togepi's costume. I'm kind of making this like those crowns that you see for one-year-old birthday parties. Um, I'm just going to take the yellow felt here and um, cut out kind of like a jagged um, looking um, design or pattern or whatever you want to call it. And um, then after that, I'm going to um, take some popsicle sticks. I want it to be a little bit more sturdy um, because it felt a little flimsy so i'm gonna take some popsicle sticks and glue those um two in like in a double layer um across, all the way across the bottom of it um and then after that i was a little nervous that maybe those popsicle sticks would be uncomfortable or that he could get like a uh, a splinter or something I don't know um so I took the yellow felt and I doubled it up um to kind of like hide the popsicle stick so that's me um doing that there and then I like I said glued that and then from there I just glued the ends together um and we were done with Togepi at that point. And this was probably one of my um, favorite costumes that I made. Um, so you see me trying on the, the headpiece. And like I said, this was because this was my favorite, I was super excited. So that's me dancing because Togepi is probably one of my favorite um, Pokemon. Um, but here I am getting started on my daughter's costume. I'm using a white poster, poster board to measure out the wingspan of her wings for Butterfree. Um, so I'm going to draw that out on the white poster board just because it's going to be easier for me then trying to draw it out on the felt um so once i get done drawing it out on the white poster board i then cut out cut it out of the white poster board and then i use that as kind of a guide on my white piece of felt and for the felt it is a 36 by 36 so three feet by three feet um size um of felt it came in a little pack again something that i bought at michael's um for less than two or three dollars i believe um that's me blowing up some balloons for my son because you know mom life right um so anyway Anyways, once I got done blowing up these balloons for him, I was struggling to get that blue one tied. But anyways, um, here I am. I wanted to kind and be able to only cut out the wings once. And so I was trying to figure out the best way to do that because folding the felt just directly in half was not leaving enough room for that. So I had to um, maneuver it around just a little bit to kind of be able and ensure that I would be able to, um, you know, double it up while I'm cutting out the wings. So once I got that figured out, here I am cutting out the wings um to make it easier um so that i only had to cut once versus having to cut out the wings twice um so the felt was moving around quite a little bit so my friend had to hold that down for me um, but once i get done cutting these wings out i am going to take um, another piece of the felt and cut a square as you see me doing that here and then i'm going to glue that in between the wings and i did this because i wanted the wings to be able to fit the um, span of my daughter's arms and i didn't want them to be too short so that little extra piece of felt made that possible so this is me just taking the black felt and cutting out the shape that i needed to outline the wings um, and then once I did that I glued it down so this is me just gluing on that black felt all the way around the wings um, to kind of have that black outline the same way that Butterfree has and um, while I'm doing that my friend has some clear um, Christmas ornaments that I bought and he took those apart and he painted those red on the inside and that's gonna be for her eyeballs um, you know Butterfree's eyes that you'll see later on once I finish this I then take my black fabric markers and I'm going to just draw out the rest of the design for Butterfree's um wings i just I felt like this would be the quickest and easiest way to kind of get that done and then from there i take a piece of um elastic and i glue it to the top portions of the wings in kind of like an arm like a circle so it's kind of like an armhole so that my daughter can put her arms through it once i get done with that i just glue those to the back of my daughter's um primary dot pajamas i did buy her purple um pajamas because butterfly is purple i did take the um red christmas ornaments that you'll see here in a minute and i glued those to a headband and i used some pipe cleaners to kind of make the antennas that butterfly has and that's basically it for everybody's halloween costume so all in all i spent about a hundred dollars on all the supplies in everybody's pajamas and then it took me about two and a half hours to make everybody's costume and then we made this little video of our own version of the intro i want to be the very best like no one ever was them is my real test to train them is my cause i will travel across the land searching far and wide each pokemon to understand the power that's inside pokemon, you and me i know it's my destiny 
doing such a great job. 